Hello students, welcome. Today we are going to see a very important topic in English language. I am going to teach you letter writing. Let's begin. First let's see what is a letter. A letter is a written message that can be handwritten or printed. In other words, it is communication in written form. Types of letter. There are broadly two types of letter, namely formal letter and informal letter. In today's video, I shall teach the format of a formal letter. Formal letters follow a certain pattern and formality. They are strictly kept professional in nature and directly address the issues concerned. Formal letters are written to authorities and officials like the collector, the editor, the manager, the director, the principal or the managing director. Formal letters can be further classified into letters of inquiry, order letters, letters of complaint, permission letters, covering letters for job application or letter in response for advertisement. Now let's see how to write a formal letter. For that we must understand the format of a formal letter. A formal letter must have the following components in it. First, sender's detail. The sender's name and address is usually put on the top left hand corner of the page, that is near the margin. The address should be complete and accurate as he is the one writing the letter. Second one is date. The sender's address is followed by the date just below it. This is the date on which the letter is being written. It is important in formal letters as they are often kept on record. The most appropriate way to write the date is 1st August 2020. Third one is receiver's detail. After leaving some space, we write the receiver's address. Make sure to write the official title, name, position, etc. of the receiver as the first line of the address. Fourth one is salutation. This is where we greet the person we are addressing the letter to. Bear in mind that it is a formal letter. So the greeting must be respectful and not too personal. The general greetings used in formal letters are Sir or Madam. If you know the name of the person, the salutation may also be Mr. XYZ or Mrs. ABC. If you are using respected, it must be used with the designation. That is, respected manager, respected principal, etc. Fifth one is subject. After the salutation comes the subject of the letter. In the center of the line, write subject followed by a column. Then we sum up the purpose of writing the letter in one line. This helps the receiver focus on the subject of the letter in one glance. Sixth one is body of the letter. This is the main content of the letter. It is divided into three paragraphs. The first paragraph must have the introduction and the purpose of the letter. The second paragraph has the main content that is all the detailed information. And the third paragraph summarizes the information. The tone of the content should be formal. We should not use any flowery language. Another point to keep in mind is that the letter should be concise and to the point. Seventh one is complimentary close. At the end of the letter, we should use thank you. And then we write a complimentary closing. We can use yours faithfully or yours sincerely on the left side of the page. Eighth one is name and signature. Finally, below the complimentary close, we sign. We can write the name in block letters beneath the signature so that the receiver will know who is sending the letter. At last, as we are writing letter for exam purpose, we should write the address on the envelope. Let's see a sample for formal letter. Here's a complaint letter. Look at the question. Write a letter to the editor of a local daily complaining against the school bus drivers for rash driving and overcrowding of buses causing risk to the lives of innocent school children. The name and address is given. You are supposed to write only the name and address given in the question paper. So let's start the letter. First, the sender's detail. Renuka, comma, B46 Nehru Nagar, comma, Chennai. The punctuation marks are very important in letter writing. Second one is date. You can leave little space and then you can write the date. As I told earlier, the most appropriate way of writing the date. 1st August 2020. Third one is the receiver's detail. The editor, comma, the cap T capital, editor E capital, the casery, comma, 
Mahatma Gandhi Street, comma, Chennai. Full stop. Fourth one is a salutation. You can write sir or madam. Fifth one is subject. The subject must be brief and clear. Regarding reckless driving of school bus drivers. And the sixth one is the body. The body is divided into three parts. The first para contains the purpose of the letter. Second para has a detailed information. And the third para has a summary. Now you just look at this. Through the columns of your esteemed newspaper, I wish to draw the attention of the concerned authorities towards the grave issue of rash driving being done by school bus drivers that pose a threat to the lives of innocent school children and trespassers. Second para, driving in a zigzag manner on packed roads, crossing speed limits, not following traffic lights has become very common. Despite such strict regulations regarding speed, none of these drivers seem to follow them. This shows that there is lack of implementation. This is a menace to other road users. Third para, by addressing this issue, it is hoped that the public awareness towards the danger of reckless driving can be raised. Even the traffic authorities can take strong measures against the reckless drivers. Seventh one is a complimentary close. First you have to write thank you, comma. Below that you have to write yours sincerely. Yours, why must be capital? You should not use any apostrophe. After sincerely, you must use a comma. Below that, the signature must be done. Below the signature, the name must be written in block so that the receiver clearly knows the sender of the letter. At last, you have to write the address on the envelope. Along with other formal letters, you also have covering letters for job or respond to an advertisement. You have to follow the exact format that we use for formal letter. The only thing is, along with the covering letter, you have to prepare your bio data or resume or CV. CV is curriculum vitae, according to the available job opportunity. Now let's see how to prepare a CV. Name, father's name, date of birth, contact number, email ID, marital status, educational qualification, working experience, languages known and references if any. Sometimes in the exam they may ask to prepare only the bio data. In such a situation you need not write the covering letter. Only the CV is enough. Hope you have understood the format. In the next video we shall see the format of informal letters. Thank you.